Boy, it's great to be back with everybody, see so many friends we've got here today and towards the end of the campaign. And I've been out everywhere. I go a lot to, uh, to schools. So I was in the Florence School, the middle school, the 10-year-old children, and they, they came out and we talked to them about the critical nature of making sure that you know that our entire government is based on a three-legged stool. The legislative judiciary, the executive branches, and I, after I gave the speech, they came up to me and they said, we want a picture with you and, with, and up on the wall here is Secretary of State and all the tall people get in the back and all the short people get up front. Well, I've been in the back my whole life, so I got down on the floor with the two shortest 10th graders there, little girl and a little boy, crossed my legs, get ready for the picture, and I turned to the right, and the little boy said to me, are you going to have trouble getting up? <laughs> it's tough out there. This is not easy, this part, this campaigning part. So I want to take just a second to go over. It's a little bittersweet. Y'all hired me 12 years ago to be your Secretary of State. I'd never been Secretary of State before. I've learned a lot. And I hope that we've done a lot. Our agency's not the same as when you hired me. We take 700,000 documents now, all paper. It's easier. It used to take two weeks to get a charter. It doesn't take two minutes anymore. It's more, it's more and less expensive than it's ever been. We now have our filing fees are zero. Those of you who have LLCs, there are 100,000 of you across Mississippi now that use limited liability companies. Our filing fee is zero. You get a nice little email from me and ask you to file. We created y'all business. So no other state has y'all business. We analyze every single county in Mississippi how you go about it, what's there, what's the economics there, what the people are there, what the schools are there, what everything that you want to know about a, about a county is now at your fingertips. The same thing that Walmart or somebody else gets to start a business. I knew small businesses, if they had the right information, they'd make the right financial, situ they'd make the right financial decision, and they did. We have taken tax-forfeited lands, the lands that nobody wanted, you couldn't ever get rid of, we've sold over $11 million of them in the last four years all over Mississippi. Every penny of that goes back to schools, goes back to counties and taxpayers. You said we never could get voter ID through. Certainly we can't get voter ID through. We'll be in litigation forever. You're the only state that didn't get sued over voter ID, and now 7,000 new voters have voter IDs that were issued by the state of Mississippi. 81% of Mississippians now favor voter ID, 81%. There's no, there was no insurance coverage for autistic children. They've got, they've got coverage now. And when you hired me, you said to make sure you want to be make careful about use of our taxpayer dollars. My budget this year that I requested is less than the day you hired me 12 years ago. And yes, one agency turned back money this year. The employees of the Secretary of State's office turned back $1.5 million to, to the state treasury to help educate children. And the one other thing you said about educating children, we've got all this 16th section land, and Eric Clark, the previous Secretary of State, had worked tirelessly to raise money for 16th section land. He raised $600 million, a great accomplishment on 600,000 acres. This year, the employees of the Secretary of State's office have raised in our 12 years $1.1 billion. We've raised over half a billion dollars more for public education in Mississippi. So let's talk about the future. Now, we, you know, as you've looked at the Secretary of State's office, we want to run everything like we run a business. We want the state to be run like we run our business. Our priorities will include right-sizing government. You'll see that and educating our children. And in infrastructure, as I looked at infrastructure, those of you who are in the infrastructure business and those of you who ride on those roads, you know we need help. That help is most needed in the counties, not in the state. Mississippi is run in the counties, not in the capital. You will see us proposing infrastructure to be given to the counties where it's most needed and determined by the people who live in those counties. On health care, no person should be further than half, half an hour, 30 minutes away from an emergency room. And health care begins when you wake up in the morning, not when you're sick. You'll see us emphasizing that all over Mississippi as we expand the affordability and accessibility of health care in Mississippi. And small businesses, I was a small business person. 
we did real estate work, we did all kinds of different things. Small businesses deserve the same tax benefits as any business does. Over half of our people work in small businesses, over half of our employees. And on education, we're going to give a teacher pay raise every year, not just during an election year. Teachers don't t teach just during an election year, they teach every year. We give those teachers our most precious pe per people, our children, and we give them to them eight and ten hours a day. They deserve to be compensated and, even as, as importantly, they deserve to be respected as we go forward. You just saw that we were the number one state today, the number one state for growth in math and in reading. That comes from hard work by children, parents, teachers, and the administrators, and we need to make sure that they have all the assets. And next year, next year, instead of funding 19 pre-collaboratives for pre-K, we're going to fund 50 of them. Every child, there's 9,000 children that don't have access to pre-K in Mississippi. Next year, they'll have access. We're planting those seeds. That's the seeds for the future for Mississippi. And in addition to that, 70% of our kids don't get a college degree. They need an economic paying job that, can, that they can live off of and raise their families on. You will see career technical expand in Mississippi. You'll see community colleges and high schools all over Mississippi teaching our young people skills, hand skills that they can use. As we go through all of this, I'm going to come back to businesses. And I hope you all are all listening, because if you hire me next Tuesday, I'm going to come back and ask you to do this. I want you to do one thing. Each and every one of you, I want you to do one thing for public education. I want you to go teach in that school. I want you to give them the equipment you're not using. I want you to let them shadow you at work. I want you to hire them for the summer. I want you to know that your next employee is sitting in the senior high school class. You have got to become, Mississippi businesses have got to be become involved in Mississippi education. That's our future. And you know that as well as anyone. And if you hire me, you're going to hear a lot more from me about that. The last thing, the most important thing you entrusted me with was casting a ballot. Tomorrow, on Tuesday, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, we will open, we will open 1,800 locations all across Mississippi with 10,000 people waiting on you to go cast a ballot. There's just to take a few minutes to do that. It won't take you 10 minutes to cast a ballot. Remember what happened last Saturday. Last Saturday, 80 of our men and women went into the most dangerous place and killed the man who had killed 3,000 3, Americans just years ago. Take a minute to go vote. Tell them it's important. You have a right to vote, and you have an obligation to vote. And that obligation is to every man, woman, and child that's defending us today so that you can cast your ballot. I am so looking forward to working for you, for working for you in a different capacity. If you, if, you'll do, if you like the way we've run the Secretary of State's office, you're going to love the way we run state government. Thank you all so much. It's great to see everyone.